Hey everyone, it's your favorite pastry, and welcome back to my playthrough of Lies of Pete. As you can see, we're in front of Parrot, who goes by Elidoro, because he killed off the real Elidoro all those years ago. Or at the start of the, of the Puppet Frenzy, I'm not sure which. The reason I'm here is I want to see what weapons we get from Lexasia's soul. Okay. Sad Zealots Ergo. Uroboro says I. Wandering Moon. Throws the weapon forward. The weapon stays in one spot for a certain time. Deals damage and returns. Makes the blade... Storm Notice. Makes the blade idle for a moment. When attacking enemies, increases hit number and damage. The Moon Sword that was lying asleep in the Arch uh, Abbey. They say this weapon was handcrafted by a legendary alchemist. Curious as to who it is. Philippus Parcelsus. Paracelsus? I don't know how to say that name. It was a legend, even among the alchemist. That was the legendary alchemist. It helps if you read a little bit further pastry. The moon sword he made by Mald Uroboros Mark symbolized wholeness. Ah, and you see a snake eating its tail, but it looks like it's in a skeleton form. Neat. And what? Impregnable Fortress Amulet. Upon a successful guard, weapon durability is not consumed. She hoped to become Summon Sword and Perfect Shield. When she was finally complete as Laxasia, she chose to become the Iron Armor Warrior without hesitation. Ah. I'm gonna get the weapon. Let's get all of the weapons because that seems fun. Especially this weapon. Since it's the same name as what's on the Cryptic Vessel that we just got. There we go. And let's see if we can solve the cryptic vessel. Welcome back. As you can see, this is Rosa Isabella Street. The reason I'm here is because I saw a marker saying I should come here. I have a feeling it's the experimental man. Where he is, I haven't the foggiest. So I'm just going to explore through here and see if I can find him. Oh, you gave me a sewing cell. I definitely need more sewing cells. But well, I found him. I'm glad he was in a very obvious to see spot. Nice to see you again. I thought if I got a second chance, I'd go to where my heart's content. I never expected to get out alive. Oh, it's overwhelming, even now. Want to take a look at what I have? I grabbed a Ooh. couple of things before taking off. Merchant. It's a new life, a new attitude, and simple pleasures like ordinary conversation. Nice loot, yeah? If you need anything, just say the word. Oh, Doc. But the reason I for coming here. I'm a fan of the actress Patricia. Not the red actress Adelina, but her sister. Patricia had an angelic voice like her sister. If she'd become famous, they would have called her the White Goddess. I have bad news. Her, her career was cut short. She took poison and ruined her throat. Uh, I've only read others' memories, so I, I don't know the details. But the memories people had of her songs. You should have heard her voice in her prime. Something transcendent like that. It makes you feel alive. I survived. So I'm seeking out experiences like that. So, any more questions? I wonder if he has a record by her. Did I go sightseeing? You bet I did. It's the heart of Krat. The theatre, the Ferris wheel, there's so much to see. Although, most of it has burned down now, I suppose. Hmm. The most fascinating thing, I couldn't believe it. The writing on the back of a maid puppet. I read memories, but still, any way you look at it, it's the maid puppet's words. Probably designed like that. What kind of puppet would write that stuff? Still, it was weird. You should see it for yourself. I think I know exactly which puppy he's referring to. Okay, what does he have? Throwing cells. Mm. Carcass crystal axe. 
Blade. A sudden explosion. A strong downward blow. The area of impact is temporary. Early covered in acid. Decreases stamina consumption temporarily. An experimental axe blade made by the alchemist. Character's body fluid constantly oozes out from the rear canister. The alchemist achieved the brilliant truth that they desired. However, their achievements were sometimes made on the flesh and blood of humans. Sadly hinting at that they're not so good people. Ah, oh, excuse me. Da -da -da -da. It is equipped with additional weight to make it easy to control the heavy blade. The humanity of the obsessive research by the alchemists caused an internal revolt. Some among them fled the organization and decided to expose the world to the truth. I definitely want to get that. What is this? Disruption cartridge. Oh good. I feel like I should get this because I have a feeling that the bo final boss is going to cause a lot of disruption buildup. And white ladies hunting apparel. The hunting apparel worn by the white lady. Oops. The woman who lost her son adorned her stage with the blood of puppets. The sister dreamed of a great stage. Their dreams now crushed. The younger one dedicated a stage in remembrance of her sister with the blood of puppets. Let's sell some Ergo. Okay, I hope that's enough. It was enough. Oh yeah, we're keeping that. I like to have the hair free. It just feels right, you know? Like this quite a bit. I'm thinking of putting the war pick head on it because I have that fully upgraded. Ooh, or maybe the black steel blade. That might be fun. But let's go to the hotel stargazer. As two people want to talk to me. I always welcome. He didn't have anything for me. Strange. It feels like a portion of my memory has been cut away from me. Interesting. It hurts so much. It's not like a real wound, but still. Strange. It hurts so much. Mental trauma is very much so real wound. Just because it's not visible doesn't mean it's any less real. With unsurpassed sorrow. I must announce. Oh no. Lady Antonia has passed away. As she entered immortality, she seemed at peace. Her face was calm, and she wasn't in pain. It is all thanks to you. Without your most difficult of choices, she would never have found such peace. As for me, I am bereft of emotion. My life, or what passes for it has lost meaning it feels like pain has swallowed me whole thus i plan to erase my heart and become an ordinary puppet oh this no will be my last conversation with you as polandina despite how it ended i thank you for the kindness bravery and beautiful moments you showed me Welcome to Hotel. I am kind of sad now. Wait. Do -do -do. There it is. Does that do anything? Oh, there's Welcome a key cap. To hotel. Nope. Welcome to 
Welcome to... <sighs> that didn't do anything. I'm kind of sad. But kind of sad, I mean very sad. Shiny new item, though. Cherry scented letter and memory of beach. I will always, I will, uh, I will always remember the memories I shared with you on the summer beach. Let's throw all our troubles into the deep blue sea. Do you have a passport worth looking back on? Memory of beach will guide you to your memories of the cool ocean. I'm trying to think how that relates to the story of Pinocchio. Because it doesn't end on a beach. It ends in an apartment where Pinocchio becomes a real boy and he and Geppetto live happily ever after. To the wonderful gentleman who gave my precious time back to me. That time I met you was light as hell. Whether you're that child or not, I think you're a kind, precious child. Thank you for giving my joy back to me in my last moments. To the English gentleman who resembles Carlo, Antonio Sirasani. Sirasini? Italian names are so hard for me to pronounce. I am sorry. But I'm kind of glad I gave her some peace in her final days. Okay, that was everybody. Why is it down here? It was down here. This must be the spot. I hope those dogs don't see me. Are you new? Or did I just you? miss you? I make deals only with established... What? Why are you showing me that? That's too suspicious for me. I'm not in... Here, I thought it would automatically show this weapon. Who are you? <clears throat> I make deals. Oh, is it Mr. Frozen Feast? I knew only the meeting spot, not the client. I apologize for not recognizing you. Here's the item you wanted. I made it just like the uniform of that conceited stalker. Hope you like it. Looking forward to more discreet transactions, if you catch my meaning. Red Fox's hunting apparel. Ooh. That was the last... Ah, oh, excuse me. Cryptic vessel. Hope you like it. There it is. The hunting apparel of Red Fox. It is a replica ordered to be made by the, the one who adored the stalker with the fox mask. The stalker with the fox mask was known to be the daughter of a time-honored family. It may have fallen into decline, but the old house's eye for exceptional equipment was as sharp as ever. Now, do I have the fox's max? I do not. We'll go back to that and switch back. There we go. What are we at? All right, let's press on with main quest. All right, welcome back everyone. As you can see, I switched out the glaive handle for the carcass asks. Because I want to give this a quick try, because I kind of like the music set. And it's better scaling for my build. Open the door with rose petals, or a rose, I guess. Oh. Hello. Lots of butterflies. Oh, they turned her into a carcass monster, didn't she? They. Poor thing. Do 
the reason the hair looks so weird. It's because my computer is a potato. Oh god. It hurts so much. I want to be free. Please. What? What, what do we do? I, I, I don't know. I can't make this choice. I think she wants to live, but... What will you do? You have to decide. You, not me. Keep her alive, perhaps against her wishes, or... Or give her peace. It's your call. I'm giving her peace. She's suffered enough. My hair turned color. Is it blue or did it go white? It went white. Learn all gestures. I got a new gesture. Entreat. Grief and tears had become daily life in crime. The puppets gathered these tears and made them theirs. I wonder. Shadow flower, I think of you while waiting in the rain. Take me away as I'm exhausted in the dark. Shadow flower, the tears of the blue fairy locked in the glass bird cage. Well, now I am just sad. My blue fairy. Huh. I wonder who this person was. But I think I know exactly where I can use Entreat. And I think you know exactly who, where I'm thinking it's going to be used. In the book, I think this is supposed to be the apartment where Geppetto and Pinocchio live out the rest of their lives. But here, we did do the right thing, didn't we? I trust I, you. Let's keep going. I think so. In Canada, we have medical assisted death for the terminally ill patients. Who are experiencing so much pain, they'd rather cut their lives early than continue on with the pain. And I think that's just a good way to go. When you know you're gonna die. Right, I keep on forgetting that this has the axe move set now.
I somehow did that right. For some reason, that guy reminds me of the enemies that run out to you and explode in Dark Souls 2. You know exactly which ones I'm talking about. Full Moonstone with the Covenant. I have a feeling that's an elevator. Let's go back to Hotel Cot. Hmm. There it is. Also no. Well, that was slightly disappointing. Antonia is dead. It doesn't feel real. I totally forgot she to touch her. Sick, but her personality was so formidable. The hotel feels empty without her. I would have done everything I could to help with weapons. God damn it! I'm so tired of people I know dying. So you'd better not die. If you can't stay alive, I'm gonna beat you up. You're here. Hmm. You're nope. here. Yeah, why not? Upgrade you. And where is my hammer? It was right there. Hmm, can I upgrade anything? Right, I fully upgraded you. Finally collected all legion arms. Guard attack. Make the make weapon attacks while guarding. Guard parry. When the fable slot when the fable slot remains, you can parry by pressing the fable button. While performing a guard counter, charge for a more powerful attack. Oh, that sounds really powerful. I think in New Game Plus, I'm gonna be using that arm quite a bit more. We're going to listen to this. I seem to be missing... I think one more. As always, thanks for joining me on my run through Lesby. Remember, 
I'm rooting for you. We're all in this together. Excuse. 